Cumbria TV Guide to Barrow and Furness. Brought to you by Windermere Lake Cruises. The Furness Peninsula is in South Cumbria and is divided into High Furness, including Coniston in the north, and our main point of interest, Low Furness, with Barrow and Furness at its more southerly tip. Much of the area is in the Lake District National Park. However, two-thirds of its current 100,000 population is in Barrow, due totally to the discovery of iron ore. Barrow was a tiny 19th century hamlet of 32 dwellings in the parish of Dalton in Furness, but became the biggest iron and steel centre in the world and a major shipbuilding force in just 40 years. The Furness Railway was built to transport this ore, providing the area with a transport route to the rest of England. The decline of the iron and steel industries meant Barrow became most widely known as a builder of nuclear submarines. It's no wonder then that Barrow's image is a largely industrial one. However, for those that know the town, this is a short-sighted view. Barrow is proud of being a great working class town, but there is so much more to the region than that. The Furness area is is extraordinary, extraordinarily beautiful landscapes and such diversity. For so many people, it seems remote. You don't pass through Furness generally to get somewhere else, so you have to discover it. But I want more people to, to discover what the Furness area has to offer. And I want us to shout louder about what we have, not to keep it to ourselves, but to bring more people in here, either for a weekend or to come and live and stay and add to this amazing pool of, uh, of, of, of talent and community that we have here. The Furness area gives visitors to the Lake District an option that they just simply don't get anywhere else. You can go to our fabulous beaches and you can come here for the, the shopping experience that we've got in Furness, both from the market town in Ulverston and, and Broughton and the new town centre that we've got here in, in Bower. This is a, a different day out which also offers the Dalton Wildlife Park and the Dock Museum. There is so much for families to do here and it, it is only just a skip away from the areas of the Lake District that people tend to, tend to be attracted to in droves. The shipyard though is still of vital importance to the town. We've been building ships here in Barrow for 140 years. The site was established in 1871. And over the years we've built a whole range of different vessels from tankers, uh, cruise liners, uh, destroyers, frigates, even aircraft carriers. But at the core of that we've really been a submarine builder. We're currently in the middle of building the astute class of submarine, which is the Royal Navy's attack submarine. It's the largest boat and most powerful boat they've ever ordered. And we're in the middle of what we hope to be a seven boat program. It's been likened to the Space Shuttle in terms of complexity. It's an amazing machine. If you just go into the hall and see the size of it, it's just an awesome machine. Um, and although I'm not an engineer, you can't help but be just kind of enthused by looking at it. This is an engineering design office for the Astute program. And we've also got offices which are looking at the build of our next program of boats. We hope to get into a four boat successor deterrent submarine. And we've got the engineering going on now to design that, but we're now looking for another 200 engineers to join us here in Barrow uh, and project managers over the next year to 18 months um, as the program grows. I was given the opportunity to come and join the submarine program two years ago and just jumped at the opportunity, not only to work on such an exciting program, but the chance to come and live in this part of the world in South Cumbria is just fantastic. The natural area is beautiful anyway. There's lots of different outdoor pursuits which I'm quite interested in. And then I've got the Lake District on the doorstep, so it's just a fantastic place to come and live. And I'm a bit of a foodie as well, and there's a lot of good food around the area. Great places to eat out, whether it's just in Ulverston, in the local towns, in you know, the whole area is just great for you know, wining and dining. Barrow has a host of restaurants from traditional English to Cantonese food, but it's Italian that is the firmest favourite with Furnace food lovers. Bringing a traditional taste of authentic Italian food is Francesca's. Adjacent to the Majestic Hotel and also part of the One Leisure Group, this spacious restaurant can cater for large parties as well as providing intimate booths and corners for a more private dining experience. Freshly prepared and cooked in Francesca's traditional wood-fired stove, the pizzas are a speciality that keep customers coming back for more.
The furnace area is actually a, a centre for uh, global manufacturing companies serving in world markets as far away as Brazil, North Africa, um, Europe uh, and USA. There's a lots of opportunities emerging in pharmaceuticals, in engineering, in submarine building, in electronics, in publishing uh, and various service industries with quite a number of companies already uh, working with us on uh, plans for expansion. If you're an individual, you're coming to work in these successful firms and there's lots of opportunities for partners. You know, so it might be somebody working in the shipyard uh, ends up with somebody working in the health authority at Furness General Hospital, which is a teaching hospital. It might be somebody working at CGP Books, uh, whose partner wants to work in the shipyard, and vice versa. Lots of opportunities. Shops in Barrows Town Centre range from local independents to national chains, such as WH Smith and Debenhams, and are supported by a host of local cafes. The fig tree in the heart of the town has been a firm favourite with Barrow shoppers and day visitors for over 20 years. Its success is down to producing quality home cooked food such as jacket potatoes, toasties and its house favourite soup and sandwich combinations, all beautifully garnished and made using the best local ingredients fresh on the premises. Afternoon teas are ever popular and you should always find room for their homemade sticky toffee pudding. the weekend Barrows Town Centre comes alive and one of the town's busiest night spots is Club M. With its contemporary decor and a deceivingly spacious interior, Club M is a busy night spot for people of all ages to dance into the small hours. The dress policy is smart casual with the music ranging across chart, dance and indie with regular live performances from chart stars. Linked by bridge to the Furness Peninsula, Walney Island has beautiful beaches, nature reserves and is home to a range of outdoor pursuits such as kite surfing, where heats of the British Championships take place annually. Uh, kite surfing is growing incredibly fast, it's probably doubling up every year, it's, it's such a dynamic sport. Um, something about flying a kite, whether you're on the land, there's some guys behind us that are doing a landboarding event as well. So we've got other things happening here, not just the kite surfing. And it's just one of those things that you fly it, you get this tremendous pull. It's, always, it's almost like it charges you up and uh, most people that get into it, it, they just get addicted to it. You know? So it is a very, very dynamic sport. At the opposite end of the island is Bigger Village, home of the Queen's Arms. Well, the Queen's is a little pub on Bigger Village, which is on Walney Island, or the Isle of Walney, as we say, on the back of the side of our van. It's very cute. And uh, we do live music every Saturday. And we do a, sort of like a free and easy, come along and just play on a Tuesday. And then we do a knit and natter on a Thursday. We do a bistro night. We do a quiz night. It's just a very community pub. If people come to the Queen's, they will find a very a sort of hark back to the old days. It's an old-fashioned pub. It's there's no there's no pipe music. There's no jukebox. There's no there's no gaming machines. There's no television. But it's just people talking and locals coming along and, and just people getting to meet people. Great sunsets! Oh my God! Come here for the sunsets. We've got nothing between us and the wind farms. A particular gem of the Furness area is Peel Island, that can be reached by foot from Walney Island or by ferry from Row Island. We're on Peel Island, which is quite an incredible place really. I mean, it's one of these little islands that are scattered around within Wanley Channel. But like many of these islands, it has a fantastic little bit of history. Because where we're stood now, of course, is connected to the monastic rule from Furness Abbey. And the castle that's behind us, of course, was part of that uh, monastic rule. And of course, in the 1800s, as the pub here was being built, 
some of the lads having a couple of pints in there thought, what a good idea. If we'll have a King of England landing on the island, we'll have a King of England in the pub. So ever since then, it's tradition that each landlord in turn, as his me or she has moved onto the island, becomes the King of the Island. It's a family island. It's not for stag and hen parties and stuff. It's for people to come and spend time with the kids. No TVs, no PlayStations, no computers. It's just a magical place. I absolutely adore it. The island itself is a curiosity because you can come across by ferry, but of course today we've come across the sands. And one of the nicest walks within Furness, or possibly within Cumbria, is this stroll across the sands. It's only about a mile, but it's absolutely tremendous. And this, surely, has got to be one of the best places on the planet, never mind in Cumbria.